Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to pass parameter or parameters from one job to another downstream job in Jenkins and for this we are going to use parameterized trigger plugin and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and step number one will be we have to start our Jenkins. So in my case I already have started my Jenkins and you can see my Jenkins dashboard here. And then what we have to do is we have to go to manage Jenkins and we have to go to manage plugins. So I have my manage plugins here. I will go to manage plugins and here is my manage plugins page. So st step number two is we have to go to manage Jenkins and then go to manage plugins. Now here if you go to your available section of your plugins, you can search for a plugin called parameterized trigger plugin, this one, or in case you already have it, you will find it in your installed section. So in my case, I already have it. So if I go to the, the installed section and search for this, let me just see. And yes, you can see here it is parameterized trigger plugin. So you have to get this. You can go to your available section and then install without restart or download and install after restart. And once you have this plugin, then we will go back to our dashboard. And now here you must be having a job that is parameterized. Now I already have a section a video on how to create parameterized jobs in Jenkins. So if you go to my channel here or on my Udemy course as well, here in Jenkins tips and tricks playlist, let me just show you. If I go to the playlist, the very first video here is how to parameterize jobs in Jenkins. So I will also make this link available in the notes so that you can just refer this. And also here is a link for this plugins wiki page. So if I go to this particular link, let me just show you. Here is the link. So this is the wiki page for this particular parameterized trigger plugin and you can read the documentation here it is very easy you can just pass the parameters like this and I will show you how so here I have this parameterized job that I earlier created and if I go here you can see if I go to the configure section of this job here I have selected this project is parameterized and I have used a string parameter and I have given name here and the value as Raghav and if I go to the build section here I am saying echo percentage name percentage so I am on Windows so I am using percent if you are on Mac or Linux you can also use uh, you can call the parameters with dollar and then in the curly braces you can give the variable name or you can just say dollar and the uh, variable or parameter name all this I have explained in this video how to parameterize job in Jenkins so you can watch that so here if I run this job let me just run this job and show you I will say apply and save and I will say build with parameters and here you can see I am getting this parameters I can this is the default value I can change this as well here and then I can say build so this will build and you can see this is the third run of this job and if I go to the output console output you can see it is printing the value of the parameter name which is Raghav so this is working fine now if I have to pass this particular value from another job in that case what I will do is I will just go to my Jenkins and create a new job so let me also add the steps here create a parameterized job which we have already done and step number four is create a new upstream job this is the job from where we will pass the parameter so I will say new item and I will say this is parameterized I will say this is parameterized trigger job and say freestyle project and say ok and here I will leave everything and just directly go to the post build actions and here in the post build actions you will find this option trigger parameterized build on other projects 
and this option you will only get once you have added the parameterized trigger plugin so I will select this and here is the details so first we have to select the project so the project that we want to run is parameterized job this one so let me add this here yes and then here is the option trigger when build is stable unstable failed and so on so it's uh, it is asking us if you want to run this job only when this particular job is stable or not so I'm saying this should be stable and then here we have the option to add parameters now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the predefined parameters you can also uh, pass any parameters which are variables from this job but I'm going to use predefined parameters of that job and here I can just give the value I can say name equals I am saying automation okay so step number five will be in post build actions pass the parameters so this is what I am doing and now I will say apply and save and you can add multiple parameters and you can also add multiple projects here and now you can see let me just go back to my Jenkins dashboard and also open this job parameterized job and you can see there are as of now three runs of this job and now the fourth run will happen when I will trigger this upstream job so I'm going to trigger this now I will say build now and this will build and then it will trigger this particular job and you can see this has already triggered which is in queue and this is now building let us go to the output and you can see it is now taking the parameters as automation which is coming from this upstream job so this is how you can use the parameterized trigger plugin and there are many options that you can explore in this plugin i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching